Three, 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 four, five, six. <laughs> Hello. Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time we're playing Night Porter, which is going to be footage from the Night Porter Matthews body camera. Matthew is overworked and alone with a new buggy AI assistant on the night of the incident. And uh, apparently everything's going to be going perfectly well for Mr. Matthew. Also, Jesus, what kind of terrible body cam is this? My God. Come to think of it, actually, what I... Hmm. Okay, weird. You know, I always was under the impression that the whole, like, recording and the little framing uh, corner things there and the... Uh, basically the four corners. I always thought those were only there on the screen to help guide, that they wouldn't actually show up on the camera on the VHS. Am I crazy? That must... that must be the case, right? Okay, room service ready at pass. What does this kind of say? Car park check, new something or other. It's kind of hard to read these. Elevators out of order. All right. Oh, okay. I guess we just kind of go. Uh, so what am I doing? What is my objective here? Well, I guess I can go down to the weird spookatorium here. Uh, okay. This is... A fire alarm? What? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm happy we're installing a fire alarm, but... Where needs a fire alarm? Also, boy, how old is this, then, if we have... If we're installing a fire alarm like this... Order to deliver to room... Oh, 307? Okay. So, floor ground? Okay. Refill fragique. And that's the weird guy. Who would put that creepy AI thing there? Yeah, who would put that as part of the, uh... Part of the advertising for that? Okay, okay. Oh, I see. So here's the floor. Oh, and yeah, okay, so this isn't a freaking fire alarm, obviously. This is just a... Yeah, this is like a plate of food. Okay, that's 303. Come on. 303, 304, 5, 6... Hello? Alright, I guess. What's going on? Huh, weird. So there's some sort of, like, wandering AI ghost thing. I... guess? Uh, this is the second floor, not the ground floor. Always, that's always one of those things that's like, depending on the game and depending on how they write it, like... They always think it's kind of weird, just cause, because obviously being, you know, American, I always think of... Newspapers at front door. Yeah, I always think about first floor is the ground floor. But then again though, hang on, if this is technically the ground floor, then shouldn't the next floor be the first floor? Isn't that how that works? I feel like that's how that works. So where does this go? To every room, 21 rooms left. Alright, well I don't think there was... Yeah, I don't think there was any rooms on ground floor. So it looks like there's seven... Yeah, okay, so it looks like there's seven rooms per floor. Which is a nice, nice round way of doing it. Again, a little weirdo AI dude. Why are you being weird? Okay. Well, there's some of them. Also, yeah, I feel like... Well, I don't know, maybe this guy is just immune to it because he works in a place that has a creepy-ass AI running things, but... Yeah, I feel like I would definitely have problems... Yeah, I would definitely have problems walking around here if, like... I was walking around doing my damn job, and then suddenly, like, some weird, creepy thing walked around. I would just leave. And I know some people would be like, well, what if you need the job? It's like, no job is worth your life. End of story. Okay, so I think I have seven of these left. Has this stack actually gotten any smaller? I don't know if it has, and also, it's the big, creepy container. There's two... Three... Four, five, six... And this should be the last one? Okay. Uh... Okay, once again, I... 
Excuse me, sir, do you need help? Is there something I can get for you? Do you need, like, a towel? Do you need to, yeah, to wipe off your, like, chips or whatever that are keeping you going? Because that's very clearly the AI. I mean, that's obviously the AI. Or at least something that looks a heck of a lot like the creepy AI. Also, why did I turn on my body cam before I even got in here? Order to deliver to room 407. Jesus. Is there not, like, an elevator or something? W wouldn't it be in the guest's interest to have an elevator, too? I mean, setting aside ADA compliance rules, which is, uh, what I think it's the Americans with Disabilities Act, for those of you who are not American watching this. It's something like that. Yeah, it's basically a disability law. Yeah, wouldn't you have to have an elevator to allow people in wheelchairs and with movement restrictions and such to get up and down? Last time I just realized, what room was this? Was this 407? I hope it was 407. Okay, so this is the third floor. Now you gotta go up one more set and then we go up to the fourth floor. So I also believe that this game is gonna end with a big stupid jump scare. Because uh, when I was looking at the itch page, somebody... Yeah, somebody did go ahead and they had like a thumbnail for a video that they had made of a similar type like this. And it showed the big thing in their face. So maybe they went ahead and they got... Uh, yeah, maybe they went ahead and they didn't have that, but... I, I guess we'll have to see. Like, maybe they got caught by the whatever's there. I don't know. I'll have to find out. Okay, so what is this now? Car park, movement basement, car park, police security sweep, and reactive emotion sensor in basement. How about no? How about what a stupid idea that is? Okay, so you need to go... What, out the front and then do that? So, so, security sweep, reactive emotion sensor. Man, I don't know how much money you're getting paid to do this, but it's not enough. One person literally can't do this job effectively. I mean, it, it, it's actually impossible. Yeah, even just from a safety standpoint, hello. I saw you there. Even from just, like, a generic safety standpoint, you don't have one person doing this. You always have people operating in pairs. Because, like, what if... Oh, hello. Uh, can I just leave? Okay. Okay, I can at least outrun this thing. Uh, yeah, I should probably just try to run. Oh, okay, so this thing actually can catch me. Yeah, this thing can catch me going up stairs and all that. Alright, you know what? Screw it. Let's bring back the 90s. Oh, yeah. You know what? I have a 90s era VHS on me. I'm going to bring back bunny hopping. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's go. Alright, so here's the question. Can you get inside of here? Oh, fudge. You actually can. Okay. Should car park clear shift ends at 8 a.m. Do I actually have to just like, oh my god, you can cheat. Oh, you cheating fucker. That's not cool. Screw you. What do you mean the car park's clear? The car park is most certainly not clear, you cheating ass clown of a computer. What are you on about? I'm gonna slap you. Oh, this is bad. This is actually super, super bad. Oh, that really does suck that this thing can actually, like... Yeah, that this thing... Oh, God. Hello. Hi, buddy. What you doing? Can I help you? Wow, and then it actually just quits out. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna go try to survive until 8 a.m. Oh, and I, I'm gonna have to redo the entire thing, aren't I? Yeah, because the game kicks me all the way back out. All right, I'm gonna... I'll cut out until we get back there. I'm gonna see about surviving until 8 a.m. That, uh, I actually really want to know what happens. Is it even possible? But I also want to smack this dude. Actually, I wonder something. Hmm. I have an idea. Okay, anyway, I'll cut this out. I'm gonna go test my idea. And we're gonna go see if I can figure out how to do this properly. So, I'll be back in just a minute for you guys. So, I got everything done. And it's now just about 6.30 in the morning of the game. At about 7, I'm gonna head on down and see if I can activate it, and then I'm just gonna run around until it's 8. And I'm gonna hope that I can go ahead and pull this off.
Because it would be nice, yeah, and I can see the little robot droid thing there. It would be nice to actually see the ending here. I, I'd actually really like to know what happens. Or if we're just auto-screwed no matter what. The only thing that has me nervous is if I'm gonna have to go through the, uh... If I'm gonna have to go through the door again. Yeah, if I'm gonna have to go in and, like, trigger it, because when I, I actually had to replay this a few times, because there were a couple of times that, like, I tried to sequence break. You know, grabbing the food and stuff at the start. And it wouldn't let me actually give the stuff to the door. So it was like, oh, give the food to room 201, and then... You know, I went ahead and I picked up the food. There, I picked up the food, then I went to the thing, and it said 201, but I couldn't actually give the food to the door. Yeah, it was, uh... It was a little bit of a problem, so th there is a little bit of randomization to this. Alright, so, let's go on down, and let's go see. Yep, okay, so... You're gonna do that, I'm gonna try to go outrun you. The only place that has me worried at the moment is just going to be the, uh... It's going to just be getting up the ramp, which actually, I do wonder if I'm able to, like... Can bunny hopping my way up the ramp help? Uh, oh no, okay, that actually is a lot better. Alright. Yeah, let's, let's go see then. Let's just go see what happens if I can survive until 8 in the morning. I suspect I'm going to just get immediately grabbed and killed no matter what, but... Yeah, we'll have to see. God, it's- I actually like- I honestly- it's kind of funny to me to see all these games now that allow bunny hopping. Just like, it, it's such a fun little mechanic. I remember, uh... What was it? I think there is the really famous old Half-Life 1 world record speedrun or something like that. And I think, yeah, that actually had like the initial physics for how Half-Life 1 was played. And god, I mean, yeah, you, you could jump like two or three times this distance just normally. And it was just ridiculous. 139, 740, and it's, it's about a second and a half to two seconds for every... Yeah, for every one minute of in-game time. So just gotta make it about another 30 seconds or so. It's an interesting idea. Uh, I feel like there's something going on too with like how the camera system is set up. There's like this weird... Uh, I think it's something with the contrast has been shifted because of how weird the lights look and all that. Yeah, it's something with that. Like, you can kind of see that weird fuzziness. That That's what it looks like when I think the contrast gets screwy. God, now I wonder what it actually looks like to the employees that, uh... Okay, so it's 8 o'clock. I hope I can go ahead and I should just be able to go inside the building now. And we'll have to go see. Also, it's really freaking dark for 8 in the morning. I'm wondering what's going on. Is it like... Yeah, is that normal for this area? Like, is it... You know, I guess winter in Michigan, it would probably get this dark at 8 in the morning still if it's like the deep winter. Especially if it's kind of a cloudy day or whatever, but... Okay, okay, hold on, let me... Let me go do this, alright. And now, what, what is this thing gonna say? Besides, eat a dick. Shift ends at 8 a.m. Oh, hang on. Do I have to... Oh, maybe maybe I can just, like, run away. Yeah, maybe I can just do that. Maybe I can just go run down the road. I, I was actually expecting there to be, like, a thing where this cuts off at 8 in the morning, but... Okay, come on. Can I, can I squeeze in? Can I squeeze in? I can. Good. All right, screw this place. We're getting out of here. Where... I don't like the fact that I can't actually... Oh, yeah, this is actually going to be really tough, because I'm not... Oh, what the heck? Oh, wait, is this actually just how this ends? Don't tell me that there's actually nothing we can... Oh, don't tell me there's nothing we can... Oh, that sucks. Okay. Yeah, it looks like this is just the ending, like you're just guaranteed to get killed no matter what. Uh, alright. Anyway, so that was, uh... That was Night Porter. This is an interesting little game. I, I don't like an ending like this that sort of teases at a... Yeah, at an ending thing. Like, 
Yeah, if maybe if have maybe have eight o'clock roll around and have the game be like, you know, I don't know, because it's kind of implying that the AI system is somehow part of the problem, right? Yeah, maybe have it be like, oh, you know, you're still alive, increasing threat level, or have it say like, oh, you won't escape this time, and increase the hostile speed, just stuff like that. Yeah, I, I would rather have that as opposed to this, where it kind of teases that the game is going to give you something. Because, yeah, like, right now, it just kind of feels like a... Yeah, right now, this almost feels just like a, a waste of time. Like, I feel like I wasted the past 10 or 15 minutes trying to do this. And that's just really disappointing. Uh, but aside from this, I mean, the game was fine. It was a little spooky, a little weird. Eh, some bugs and such, but, you know, for a presumably small... Maybe one to three person development team. This isn't bad. Yeah. You know, the, the overall aesthetic and stuff I feel like is a little wonky, but... You know, it's obviously going for this kind of surreality, so... Yeah, nice work, developer. Um... Really, the only problem I have with this game is the ending. You know, I, I wish that it hadn't suggested that there was... An alternate ending, maybe. Yeah. Uh, that's really about it. But otherwise, this was, uh... This was enjoyable enough. It was spooky, it was a little weird. I love the fact that we can bunny hop around. And it did give me a fun... It gave me a kind of funny little thing of just, like, evading this... Robotic jack wagon. Who is now apparently stuck on the light, but yeah, there we go. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind, please leave a like or leave a comment. How did you feel about the game? How did you feel about Night Porter? Am I the only one who's kind of disappointed by the lack of a real ending, or are you guys too? Do you think that was kind of a bit of a missed opportunity? Yeah, what do you think is going on with that? What do you think is happening? Do you think that I've, like, bugged something out, or do you feel like maybe the developer just didn't expect anyone to, like, cheat the system? And if they were to add in a real ending, what would you want to go ahead and see? I'm curious to hear as input on this one. And if you're new to the channel, if you enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would really, really appreciate that. And for everybody else, thank you very much for watching Night Porter. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.